Hi everyone, my name is John Leitch and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about Google's app scripts and how to fill out a forms question with data from a spreadsheet. So here I have a very basic forms where I have a country of residence question with a lot of countries or territories and also a question about industry of expertise where I have a lot of selections to choose from. Now the normal way you can do this is creating a forms and manually typing your information inside each question. So here you can see that I have more than 200 countries or territories and also a lot of industries of expertise. But I didn't type this manually. I have a spreadsheet here with the information from the Google Forms and I created a script to automate this process. Now how can I create a script to do that? I can come here in Tools and Script Editor or I can come here in Settings and Script Editor. I prefer creating scripts inside Google Spreadsheets, but you can also create them inside the forms. This is just personal preference. If it's your first time creating a script, a new window will open with a blank script and an unnamed project. Here I renamed mine to Forms Dynamic Update and I already wrote my code down. Now what's this code doing? Here I'll get some information from my spreadsheet, like the ID, the sheet name, so we can come here, you can see that I have my ID here and my sheet name here, so they are here. And I also created a column variable which I'll be using later. For the forms, I'll have my forms ID, which is this one. And then also forms item ID and types, which I will also be using later. These functions here will go one by one, starting with get forms IDs. This function will help us detect the ID of each question inside our forms. So if I come on this drop down here and select get forms IDs and click on one, I'll have all of my questions and their respective ID. If it's your first time running a code, Google will ask for permission so you can allow it if you're your code and then it will run. If you are using someone else's code, Take a look before what it's doing before allowing it to use your Google account to send emails, to update something, just to make sure it's not getting your data or doing something wrong. Now, why do you need this information? Why do we need the ID for the question? If I open update country and update industries, you see that I'm using the column variable, the form item ID variable, and also the type variable. The column is reference to this column here and the item ID is a reference to the question ID from my Google Forms. The type is the type of question I'm using. So if I come up here and click here, you see that my type of question for my countries just up here click, is a drop down. And if I go down, you can see that my industry of expertise is a checkbox. So I'm just writing this here because they have to be treated differently. So a drop down and a checkbox. Now those two functions will call get sheet data. This function here is getting my spreadsheet information. So I'll link my spreadsheet using the ID and the name. Then I'll get my rows and number of rows to use it as an auxiliary number. And then I'll get the values based on the column I'm choosing. So here I'll get my range using the name, my column, starting on line 2 because I don't want the header, and then my column and number of rows that I have. This getValues function is a function from app script. This will make a list of everything I have inside my spreadsheet in my specific column. Then I'll call another function that's fill form data and I'll pass my information list here. I'm using concat and apply just so I can concat every information from my list and then inside fill form data 
I'll have my form again, I'll be linking it using my form ID, and then depending on the type of question, I'll have a different function here. So for a drop down, I use a list item, and for a checkbox, I use a checkbox item. If we have more types of questions, you can see that I have many questions I can choose from, we can also change this. So if I type here, just the start, you can see that I have more choices I can choose from. But let's leave it as this for now. Okay, and otherwise, if it's not a valid type, I'll just log an error. And here, I'll use the item dot set choice values to my value list. So this is everything you need to update your questions. Now, I created a copy of my previous forms that is still in blank. I'll come here and get the ID. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it inside my form ID. If I want to run the update country, I'll come here to update country, click on run, and then it will run. If I come back here, you can see that now my information is filled out. Now, an important part of industry of expertise. You can see here that my countries go way beyond my industry of expertise here. So if I try to run the industry here, you see that I'll have an error. Questions cannot have duplicate choice values. Why is this happening? If I check my knowledge base, I don't have a duplicate value here. There's nothing duplicate here. So why it's giving me this error? I can use a very nice function here to debug. So I can click on a line I want to stop. Let's stop here. And then I can click on debug. This will show us where we are having our call stacks and what are our variables. So if I click here on values list, you see that I have a lot of values. But after the end of my last area of expertise, I'll have some blank values. And then it will stop here. The length is 249. So if I come here, I'll have 250, but this is because I'm not reading the header. Now, how can I filter out this information? I can come here and write values list, go values list, not filter, string. So I'll just have strings. Then I'll stop this and debug again before running, just to make sure. And now you can see that I have less row numbers. If I come here, you can see that now I have my information filtered. I can just stop this, run my workflow. And now I have my questions inside my Google Forms. Let's say I want to add some more columns of some, some more questions. I could just add the information here create another function, passing the column name, the question ID, and the type of question, and then just run it to update my forms. Another way to run your script is instead of selecting it here, is coming here, clicking on insert, image or drawing. I was just insert a drawing here. Let's just make something here, I'll add a test, countries update, make it bigger so it fits in a line, save and close, and then I can click here and assign a script. Then I'll come here, let's select this script, and then click here. Let's make a second drawing. Industries update. Come here, copy the function name, and also paste it here. Okay, and if I click the button, you can see that my script is run inside my spreadsheet. So I don't need this open here. I can just click here and it will run. So that's it for creating an app script to update your forms questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.